Um, well, as I said, it, it was in this transmitted deprivation framework, and there seemed to be such an opportunity in Aberdeen, particularly, and we're going back to Dougal Baird now, um, because there'd been so much research through all the generation, through the past generation or two, of childbearing women, you know. So if we're talking about transmitting deprivation through through generations, you've got an ideal population here, which was heavily documented. I, I, I is is the transmitted deprivation the first program? I think it probably was that anybody was that any governmental body was actually brave enough to instigate actually for purposes of theory testing, theory developing, you know, I, it's, mm, it's, I that's quite, you know, it's quite something, isn't it? So it, it was expressly supposed to, all the, pro, the items in it were supposed to be um, specifically a, a test of this hypothesis mm -hmm. that um, deprivation was transmitted from generation to generation. Despite this boldness, I have to say that the sociological establishment and SSRC itself was not entirely easy to persuade that qualitative research was the way to look at this. I, I remember very distinctly being called down to London to defend this, this um, proposal. Mm. 